Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will do this curve. The curve name is called superior hypotrichoid. Here I am using different colors. You please remember, do all the diagrams by using pencil only in the engineering drawing sheets as well as in the exam sheets also. Okay, for getting the clear view in the camera, I am using different colors. So use only pencils. Let us start how to do this diagram. Here in the last few classes, we have discussed about trichoid. Trichoid means it is a path of one P point. This is one of the trichoid. P point is inside the circle. Okay. If P is inside the circle, it is called inferior trichoid. If P point is outside the circle, the curve name is called superior trichoid. So according to it, today we are doing superior hypotrichoid. Superior means the P point is outside the circle. Okay, this is a circle roughly added here. This is a P point, it is outside the circle. Okay, that's why we are giving name superior. Hypotrichoid means this circle is rolling inside a curved surface. This is the curved surface. For example, I am taking this is the curved surface. Okay, now I am taking this is the smaller circle. Okay, this smaller circle. I am taking one P point here. Okay, this P point is outside the circle. Okay, now I am taking the arrangement will be like this. Now this circle is rolling along this curved path. If you are doing like this like this okay so it is rolling along this curved path then if you are taking the path of p point the p point the path of p point will be coming like this okay this curve name is called superior hypotrichoid initially we will take the data by using this we can do the practically this diagram okay after that by using the drawing instruments we do this diagram okay let us take the given data initially a circle of diameter 50 mm diameter of the circle is here i will write in the drawing sheet no need to write all the given data just you mark the given dimensions okay. diameter is 50 mm what is the radius half in it 25 mm if you are converting in centimeter it is 2.5 centimeter okay smaller circle diameter is 5 centimeter rolls inside a circular arc of radius 90 mm so here circular arc means it is a bigger curve just now I have told this is a bigger uh, radius how much this radius is it is 90 mm okay the radius of this bigger arc is 9 centimeter for one revolution this smaller circle is rolling inside the bigger circle for one revolution first up draw the locus of a point lying at a distance of 36 mm from the center of the circle so here we are taking one p point we can take any point point name is P I am taking capital P point. This point is how much distance from center? 3.6 centimeters. So for this smaller circle diameter, I am taking this is a P point. From this center, it is 3.6 centimeters. Okay. So we need to draw the locus of this P point. Okay. Let us do practically. Okay. Here it has given one revolution. The, this smaller circle is rolling for one revolution. I took one bigger curved surface. Okay. Inside this smaller circle is rolling. I am taking this is the smaller circle. And this P point is outside the circle. Okay. Now let us take this circle is initially. Let us mark this point. Okay. Initial point it is. Okay. Now this initial point is. Let us take. It is here initially. Okay. I will mark on the paper also. This point. Like this. Okay. Roughly I am taking. Now this initial point is here. Okay. Let us take this is a A point here. I have marked it. This is a A point. Okay, initial point. Now, after that, mark the position of the P point also. Okay, I am marking roughly. Let us take this is a P point. Now, circle is rolling like this. Now, mark the P point position. Okay, so here I am marking this point. I am marking here. Okay, next, it is rolling. Now, mark the P point position here. Now again it is rolling. Now mark the P point position. Okay. Now next it is moving like this. Okay. This position is coming here. Okay. Mark that position on the paper also. Okay. And now mark the P position also. Okay. Now here whatever this point at the A point. Okay. At the starting the same position is coming here. Now we can say this circle is rolling for one complete revolution. Okay, now I am taking this point is B point. Okay, now circle is rolling from A to B. So join these two points also. 
it is showing the curved surface okay i will do the curved surface also here okay i will join both surfaces i will join both points now here these are the p position this is first point this is the last point okay now this is one of the point this is another point this is another point okay is it visible okay if we join all the points okay if we join all the points p points we will get the curve so let us do here just this point and here i am joining this point and next point and next point and then this point okay are you able to see this curve okay it is coming here also okay this curve is called superior hypotrochoid so we need to do this curve for doing this curve we have to take this surface okay so initially we have to do this curved path okay now for doing the curved path this path we want this radius it has given in the question it is 9 cm take any one of the point as center do an arc okay 9 cm arc take any point as a, any one of the point as a starting point a point okay similarly we took here a point okay after that do an arc up to some length okay here we have one formula for calculating this angle after getting this angle we can do this line end line okay what is the formula for calculating this angle 360 into small r by capital r okay 360 into what is smaller radius of the smaller circle how much it is 25 mm okay so it is 25 mm divided by capital r means what is the capital r radius of the arc is 90 mm so 90 so do this 9 4 jo 36 25 into 4 means 100 degrees okay this angle is 100 degrees after getting 100 we can do this line and we can extend the arc up to this point the intersection point is b point after that we will do the smaller circle how to do the smaller circle from a point we need to mark the center of this circle okay take the radius is 25 mm we can do the circle let us do this diagram after that we will do the superior hypotrochoid let us do here let us take from center to this bigger arc 9 cm radius take 9 cm and here give some gap take this point as center okay i am taking this point is o point from o i will do one arc okay of some length now take any one of the point here i am giving that point is capital a okay i will join a and o by using the scale now after that mark this angle just now we have calculated 100 degrees okay now by using the protractor the initial line should coincide with this line take 100 degrees this is 90 this is 100 okay now join this point to this point extend up to the arc so this is the end point it is a b point now remove this arc so after getting this on this line initial line we have to do the circle so radius is 25 mm okay so from a mark the center 25 mm or by using compass take that length take radius is 2.5 cm from a mark the center give this is c okay center of the smaller circle now here do one circle with the same radius c as center do the circle after getting the circle mark the p point okay so at what distance it is 36 mm from the center of the circle from the center of the circle extend this line mark p point now extend the line so this is 3.6 cm okay this is the p point after getting p point take same center cp radius do one more circle now after getting the bigger circle divide this bigger circle into 12 divisions if for dividing any circle into equal number of parts we have to take initially what is the angle at the center what is the angle at the center it is 360 degrees now we need to divide this 360 into 12 equal divisions how much each division is 30 degrees okay so we have to divide this bigger circle into 12 parts each part is 30 degrees so how to divide the circle into 12 parts now by using protractor mark 30 degrees okay take this is a initial point by using protractor so this diameter should coincide with this line actually mark initial at 0 next 30 degrees 30 plus 30 means 60 degrees 60 plus 30 means 90 90 plus 30 means 120 120 plus 30 means 150 150 plus 30 means 180
now join all these points to the center now initial point it is coming on the diameter only now take this point join this point to center and do the line within this bigger circle okay now take the next point join to center this point now join this point to center now this point to center now here we have divided the bigger circle into 12 divisions mark the names of this now i am marking this is one this is the second part third fourth after four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this is a p point we can give p comma 12 for the same point now here we have divided into 12 parts now divide this angle 100 degrees angle into 12 parts okay let us assume if you are dividing into eight parts this circle divide this angle also eight parts it is our wish we can divide into any number of parts here i have divided into 12 parts so divide this angle also 12 parts so what is this angle we have already calculated it is 100 degrees now divide this into 12 parts so by using calci do it 100 divided by 12 so we are getting 8.3 degrees okay each part is now 8.3 is it able to measure by using this protractor we can measure exactly 8 okay 8 degrees so 8.3 means we can't measure correctly between 8 and 9 we can take but it is how much we don't know it may be 8.3 8.4 or 8.5 any angle by using trial and error method i will do I will, initially i will take between 8 and 9 okay that gap i will take so i will show how to do the trial and error method initially take one point okay at this point do the line okay one line so this is the initial point what i am taking so i will mark the angle first angle i will mark so as i told i am taking in between 8 and 9 approximately okay so 8 and 9 means so this point is coming this angle is coming here okay now join this to center and extend that line up to this surface so i am extending here one line i am giving this is one dash okay let us assume like that this angle how much this angle it may be 8.3 8.4 8.5 in between 8 and 9 okay now measure this length mark on this line by using compass take that length here okay this is the first trial now here our main aim is we have to divide this angle this angle or this angle both are same okay we have to divide this surface into 12 parts okay this is the first part we did with this length and the second part and then third part fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth ten eleven twelve okay it is getting more than twelve parts so with this length we are getting more than twelve parts that's why we have to increase the length okay before increasing that length just remove the previous one with this we can't get the 12 equal division that's why remove all the parts neatly and remove this line also after removing all arcs redraw this surface after redrawing this surface by using compass take more than this length okay approximately we are not measuring this time we okay, take approximately more than this length okay now i am taking here this length next length okay second length i am taking here is it visible now i am taking this length second length this one okay now by using this again i will divide this surface okay now here this is the first part second part third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth ten 
11 this is 12 here also we are getting more than 12 parts we have to take the length more than this two okay more. before doing it just remove this previous arcs and redraw the surface now after doing this so with the second length also we are getting more than 12 parts now take the length more than this okay now by using compass take the length more than this here i am taking third length okay approximately take no need to measure now by using this length again do the same process start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now here we got 12 equal divisions by using the third length like that sometimes you will get in the first assumption only 12 equal divisions sometimes we will get in the second assumption 12 equal divisions or th in third trial we will get correct equal divisions that's why we are calling this method trial and error method here whatever marks are coming give the names for it for section point is one dash Eleven dash B comma twelve dash. Okay. Here join all these points to the center by using the scale. Now after getting all the parts here, so from all these points also do the arcs. Okay. So take same as center, O as center by using compass which is the first point 1 ok 1 is the first point take O1 is the radius ok do an arc ok so here if you are doing the arc so 1 and 11 are coming on the same arc ok because circle is symmetrical ok from 1 and 11 we are doing the arc up to this last line extend this line up to some length just extend up to some length ok here now after that next point is after 1 2 take the next arc from 2 same center o2 is the radius ok now 2 and 10 are coming on the same ok 2 and 10 both are coming on the same arc just do an arc up to this last line ok after 2 take 3 take same center o3 radius ok o3 radius do an arc 3 and 9 are coming on the same arc So after 3, here center is also coming, through center also do one arc, OC is the radius, O as center, do one arc through center, okay. Now after 3, take 4, O4 is the radius, do an arc, 4 and 8, both are coming on the same arc. Next, O5, next after 4, 5, O5 is the radius, 5 and 7, both are coming on the same arc. So after 5, take 6, O6 is the radius, do an arc. So from all points, we did arc. From last point 12 also, do one arc. Take same center, O12 is the radius, okay. Do an arc up to the last line. So after getting all the arcs from these points, mark the centers. Okay, as I told, initial position of the circuit is like this. So initial center is C, now it is rolling like this. Now center is C1. Next it is moving like this. Center is C2. Okay. Next center is C3. Like that mark the centers. How many centers? Here we have divided into 12 parts means 12 centers will come. Okay. For marking those 12 centers. Take the center arc. Already we did the arc through center. Take this arc and this first part intersection point. Okay. Take this is C1. Okay. Now take next second line on the center curve. So this is C2. Next third one on the center curve C3, C4 on the fifth line C5, next on sixth C6, on the seventh one C7, on the eighth one C8. Always remember on the center arc all centers are coming. Okay. On ninth line C9, C10, C11, 
this is c12 okay after getting all the centers as i told initial position of the circle is like this okay so c and p distance is this one okay it has given 36 mm now next circle is rolling like this okay center now center is c1 okay but this gap is constant now it is moving c2 center this gap is constant okay so how much this gap 36 mm okay so that's why take this gap 36 cp p is the initial point cp is 36 mm same gap cp distance 36 mm now circle is rolling c to c1 means here okay p point do an arc on the first arc which is passing through one okay here it is coming okay now take next c to center do an arc on the second curve which is passing through two okay it is coming here one arc after that c3 center do an arc on the third curve which is passing through three okay now where it is coming it is coming here now next c4 center do an arc on the fourth one so it is coming here now next c5 center do an arc on the fifth one here now c6 center do an arc on the sixth one which is passing through six so really here at this point now c7 center do an arc on the seventh one here Okay, here I did. After C7, C8 center, do an arc on the 8th one. Okay, 8 and 4. Now, after C8, C9 center, do an arc on the 9th one, which is passing through 9. 9 and 3 curve here. It is coming out of the diagram. So, here, for getting intersection point, extend 9, 3 arc up to here. Same as center. Just redraw it. O as center, just extend this arc. Like this. Similarly, extend this 10 and 2 arc also, this side. Okay, just like this. Now, after C9, take C10 center. Do an arc on the 10 and 2 line. Okay, and the 10th curve. Do an arc on the 10th curve. So, this is the 10th curve. We did. After C10, C11. Okay, do an arc on the 11th curve here it is also coming out of the diagram so extend this 11th arc for getting the intersection point okay here it is getting take the same cp radius c11 center just do an arc here okay now next take c12 center do an arc here it is exactly matching at this last point okay here now view the intersection points so on the first arc take the intersection point i am taking this is p1 and on the second arc i am giving p2 on the third curve the intersection point is p3 on the fourth one the intersection point is p4 on the fifth one i am taking this is p5 on the sixth one i am taking this is p6 on the seventh one it is p7 on the eighth one I am taking P8 on the ninth one I am taking P9 on the 10th arc I am taking P10 on the 11th one I am taking P11 on the last point I am taking P12 now after getting all P points join these P points by using the freehand curve so initial point is P point okay join P2 P1 P1 to P2 P2 to P3 Join P2 to P3 P3 to P4 P4 to P5 P5 to P6 P6 to P7, P7 to P8, P7 to P8, P8 to P9, P9 to P10, P10 to P11, P11 to P12, P11 to P12. Now this is the path of P point. So here we got one curve. The name of this curve is superior high court record. 
here the required curve and the given circle and the given surface should be in dark color compared to the other lines okay here mark the given dimensions correctly the smaller circle diameter has given how much it is 50 mm here do the lines perpendicular to this diameter okay now keep the symbol diameter symbol right 50 at the middle of the dimensional line after that we have calculated this angle 100 degrees okay keep the arrows on this and mark 100 degrees here the bigger radius has given extend this surface so from this center to this surface how much radius 90 keep our symbol here this is a method of doing the superior high court record so here always use pencils for doing these curves the other cycladal curves and the records video lectures i will give the link in description box please check it if you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching